Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Heather and I have nine week old, two month year old twins, Harper and Hudson. They are just so precious. And now that we're two months in, I wanted to share with you my list of must have newborn products. I wanted to give it enough time to feel like I could actually prioritize what our must haves are. Of course, at the end of the day, if your baby has a safe place to sleep, it's being fed and it's being kept warm, like they're good. But this is my list of items that have made life a lot easier for us. And I think they apply whether you have one baby or twins, but I'm super excited to share this video with you guys today. Before we get started, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. I'm trying to work my way back up to two videos a week. Obviously, priorities have shifted now that I have two newborn babies to take care of. It is constant around here, but we have at least a video every Tuesday going up. And if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to do that. I'm posting content daily on there of our life with the twins. So go ahead and follow the Instagram and let's jump in. Okay, well, Harper could not miss out on the fun, so she's gonna join us while Hudson sleeps. So I'm gonna start with like my true must-have items. These are some smaller things that I think are crucial. Number one item that we have bought and rebought over and over are burp cloths. People joke that you need a lot of burp cloths. You need so many burp cloths. We go through tons and tons a day. We probably go through at least 10 a day. Also, everything I talk about here will be linked down below for you, but her claws are my number one must have. Second is pajamas, but very specific. They have to have a two-way zipper. So when you change them in the middle of the night, you can just zip from the leg up, not have to totally undress them. And also need to have the hand mitts, like the sleeves that fold over. That has been a lifesaver for them not cutting their faces. We do use a little nail shaver to make sure that they're not too long, but they love to have their hands up by their face and having their hands covered has given us a lot of peace of mind and keeps them warmer when they're a fresh little newborn that needs to stay nice and warm. Okay, the third item is pacifiers. We weren't sure if we were going to introduce pacifiers or not. At first we didn't want to, but my mother-in-law told me that babies love to suck on things and if they start sucking their thumbs, you can't take their thumbs away, but you can take a pacifier away. So if they need to be comforted by that sucking movement, which they are comforted by, just introduce a pacifier. And there's a few, it depends on the day. I'll show you which ones we've been using. Okay, as you can see, Harper right now is using a Wubba Nub. These are what they introduced like First, these Soothy, Avent Soothy pacifiers. Harper seems to like these the most. They're just one piece, really flexible. They're smaller. Hudson sometimes likes to use these bibs pacifiers. They have a little bit bigger of a bulb on them, so I feel like they stay in his mouth when he's like really going ham. Or we have these, is it Mam brand ones? They have a totally different shaped bulb on the end, kind of like long and flat, and Hudson likes these, especially when he's sleeping. So we just sort of have those on rotation, and usually they'll take one of them. So let's talk about feeding real quick. I breastfeed them, and if you breastfeed one baby or two, then you probably have a nursing pillow. I know a lot of people use a bobby pillow. There's also one called My Breast Friend and I have that pillow but it's for twins and this thing is we call it the beast we also have the twin Z pillow we ended up buying that a couple weeks ago not to feed them but to prop them up in so they can kind of sit up you know if they're just like for on our bed or something they can be chilling in that I've tried feeding with both I do not like using the twin Z pillow for feeding and along with that if you are breastfeeding I highly recommend using a good balm I will link the one I use down below. Most of the time, like I said, I do exclusively breastfeed them, but I also have two pumps I've been using that I really love. I love my Motif Luna. They sent me this pump and I am I love it. It is super efficient. It is battery operated. You just charge it. So it's totally portable. In addition to that, I also have the LV pump that is really portable. You just stick them on and you can walk around. You can do a like, fully, fully hands-free with that. I definitely don't feel like it is as strong. It's way more for convenience. And then as far as bottles go, if we do bottle feed for out and about, or if it's middle of the night and I'm like tap down, Alec needs to step in. We've been using the Komotomo bottles as well as Dr. Brown bottles. I really love both of them. I don't feel like there's a huge difference between them. We've been trying to use Dr. Brown a bit more for Hudson since he has reflux. Another thing that I think is a priority for newborns, if we really good about making sure everything 
everything is washed and sanitized, sterilized properly. We have a bottle brush and a boon drying rack and nothing gets put on those or gets cleaned beyond the baby stuff. So I think that's been really good, not just using like our dish scrubber that we use for our pots and pans. We have a specific baby brush, baby drying rack for all of our things that are exclusively baby. So let's move into some gear here. We have been loving our Nuna Pippa light car seats and our Uppa Baby Vista V2 stroller, especially having twins carrying two car seats. They're still heavy, but they're pretty much one of the lightest car seats you can get. So we've been loving those, but a real must have, I have to say, is the noise machines that we have. We have a portable noise machine on each car seat. They are lifesavers. Our kids really love motion. They fall asleep in the car or on a walk, but they do not like getting strapped into the car seat. But we turn on that noise machine and calm, totally calm. So I highly recommend having those for on the go. And then we also use the dome sound machine in our bedroom at night for when they go to bed at night for extra sound. We use the snooze for our bassinets in our room and I definitely do think that they have helped them sleep more. There's been nights where each of them has done like a seven hour stretch and I really do attribute that to the snoo. They feel very snug in there and then the motion and the snoo has noise that it plays as well. I don't feel like they have been like really fussy where they've needed to be soothed a ton which the snoo self soothes them. I'll say that 10 times fast. I mean we've used that function a little bit but I think just the movement of the snoo has helped them sleep longer. So I'm not putting it in my must have because I don't feel like we'd be dying without them because we're still dying because we're still really tired. But I do think the snoo has helped them be sleeping seven hour stretches at nine weeks old. And I'll say one more item. I didn't have it on the list, but it's been really helpful for us is the hatch sleep. It is a noise machine also, but we use it for the light. We keep it on all night long on the red color really dim because I am up a lot during the night and instead of turning on a bright light that's going to stimulate them in the middle of the night to keep it really dim in there so I can still see what I need to see but it's not waking anyone up. One of the items that has been an absolute lifesaver is the Snuggle Me. We have used these since day one. We still use them every single day. We bring them with us if we go somewhere. We keep them on our couch so when we are on the couch and if we need to take a break from holding them they fall asleep and we want to be hands-free we just stick them in the snuggle me if we're there right next to them sometimes they like to be kind of more on their side when they're falling asleep so obviously we're there watching them but it's nice that the snuggle me is structured so they can do that with us next to them they have just been really handy to feel safe about setting them down knowing they're not rolling off the couch all of a sudden or just having a secure place to rest as far as any other gear that we've used the swings that we have have been really nice we only recently have been able to start using those since our babies were born just about at like four and a half and five and a half pounds but the babies need to be like more like seven to eight pounds to safely use a um, swing or like a baby carrier so those are newer what we did for twins instead of buying two of everything we had one swing and then actually someone did buy us a second one but we didn't put it together we waited to see if both babies liked the swing that we have which they did then we put both of the swings together so we could use them um, especially in the evening when they're a little bit more awake and if we need to be hands-free again or they just want some motion put them in the swings it'll keep them occupied for a little bit at a time i wouldn't say it's like must have but it definitely is handy for sure because sometimes they don't just want to be like lay down in a snuggle me they want to be seated upright and have some motion again our babies love the motion so and we also have the baby bjorn bouncers which again are helpful when you have two babies and you have to put one down and sometimes they don't want to be laid down on their back in the snuggle me so the bouncers are good you do need to move them yourself but it's been nice if we're like having dinner and they are awake and crying i can put them in that and i can just sort of bounce it with my foot okay and then as far as swaddles go we have been using the love to dream swaddles for harper she loves to have her hands up when she sleeps we love the halo swaddles because you can have their arms up or down with those and they're nice and tight they really can't wiggle out of them. Okay, and then one item that was the most unexpected that I would say is a must have is the Love Every boxes for babies. So Love Every, they send you a box every like quarter or so depending on the age of your baby. So we have the newborn boxes weeks one through 12 as well as their play mat. And it has made me feel 
like way more of a capable mom. I mean, you can read a ton of books, you can be on all sorts of like Facebook groups and forums and I mean, you Google stuff like every day when you're a parent. But as far as like making sure that I'm doing what I can to help develop them and get their cognitive skills going, even at such a young age, I feel like Love Every has seriously made me feel capable. They send you a kit with like toys and like guides that are specific to the age range of the box that they send you. Right now they have these black and white cards that the babies love to look at with different shapes and figures. They love the play mat. You can put the cards up top so they can look at them and they have some different um, things hanging from them. It's also aesthetically pleasing, which I appreciate because, you know, I feel like a lot of the things I have gotten for them are neutrals, but they are babies. They need color in their life and it's a good combination for them and me in our home. Something they also send you in your kit is this like guide and it explains like what your baby is going through, what they're learning, what they can see, what you know milestones and what you can be doing to help support those. For example for 0 to 12 weeks you have high contrast images during tummy time and then it explains to you why you should do this and how to do this. I have found this to be extremely helpful for me it's really easy especially with twins to feel overwhelmed and like I want to make sure I'm doing whatever I can to raise smart little cognitive babies there's just a lot to do in the day so having this has been insanely helpful I did not anticipate that but now that I have it I can't imagine not using this I really really truly highly recommend checking out love every I don't think there's any way you would regret using their product. Okay, one more honorable mention I will say is our changing pad scale. We use the Hatch Grow, which has been really nice, especially since we had preemie babies. Being able to track their weight has been super, super important for us. If you're gonna get a changing pad and you're willing to invest just a little bit more, really recommend that one. Not a must have, but it's important to you to be able to track their weight. A good one okay i think that covers it if i think of anything else that i forget to mention here i will put it down below in the description thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully i gave you some helpful tips every mother is different every baby is different there are different must-haves for each family but these are the items that have been most helpful to us these past two months with these newborn twins so Again, everything is linked down below for you to check out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.